Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial in a beautiful language called English. I don't tend to make a lot of these videos, but I thought just that uh, this, in this language will be more commonly known to the people who might want to see this. So actually I wanted to talk about how to make uh, your kill switch uh, just outside your guitar so you don't have like undo your guitar and put the kill switch itself in there, drill the holes and etc etc. So I've just made just one like that and it's actually damn easy to do uh, even by yourself. You just need uh, of course the jack cable in this case I uh, I can show it to you on, on the stereotype but in guitars you uh, have only the mono signal one and you need to have uh, this kinda microwave switch it's commonly used in microwaves so for instance if you have one like a bit damaged you can actually uh, undo all the microwave and just put it out there, I guess. Um, actually, this uh, switch has to uh, have at least two uh, pins. And when you want to make a kill switch, so that when you press it, your voice goes off, you have to uh, have the, this one pin, the highest one, and the lowest one. Uh, you don't need the middle one, since, it's the oppo since it would give the opposite effect. Uh, so, the first thing that you uh, have to do, uh, after preparing all the items you need, uh, you have to cut your uh, jack wire somewhere just outside, like for instance here. But of course I won't do it because it would be just a waste of the cable right now, which I, which I have right here. So i just show you how it's done. So, the first thing you have to do is unscrew the this part and see the colors of the sino parts. Uh, here I have uh, one red and one transparent and of course since it's the stereotype of cable I have a uh, ground right there which is pinned down to the cable itself. And so when it comes to stereotype you always have those like two mini wires that are bent to uh, themselves and actually in one wire which is uh, this one I think it's the grunt and uh, it's just have to uh, you don't actually have to pin it right uh, through the switch because it's not needed you only will uh, have to stop by uh, stop the signal by the switch so you don't have uh, to put the grunt through it and because it's totally unneeded. Uh, so the thing that uh, you have to do is the is undo the cable and right in the other one uh, you have the signals. R right there I have the red one and then uh, the transparent one. And actually those signals at least two, no not at least one, in the uh, stereotype uh, case you have to actually get those both uh, working. But the funny thing is that you would have to actually find two switches, uh, one for each uh, signal. Or you just have to mix them up in one. It's your choice. But of course we all know that uh, guitarists and such use only a stereotype of cables, which are... Uh, come here. Something like that. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but here's the one signal part of the cable, and there is the ground pinned to it. And that's actually the wire I use for my guitar the most, and it works them properly. But I have to cover one thing more when it comes to my cable, but I will do it as the last point. So, what you're gonna do in case of uh, guitar cables and such you want to use? Um, you, 
you always will have a look right just right here so you have to pin one of the wires to the ground uh, to the ground so somewhere in the I don't know for instance here so it won't touch the si signal and the signal you put right here and it can it just can't uh, mm, just touch even the a part when the grunt is pinned because it just won't work that way uh, and the same is with the switch you put one uh, signal part on the one pin and the other part on the other switch it doesn't matter which uh, which side of the cable you are putting in what pin because it just breaks the signal whatever it comes from uh, it just stops the electrical circuit if you actually press it uh, so for instance I did it so right here and it actually works and uh, I was just talking about signals and such here is the uh, one signal from this cable and there is the second one to the uh, input cable at the end uh, and the thing you wanna do, uh, want to do with the ground is to actually just warp it up around somewhere here so it won't actually touch anything from the signal part of our little e electricity improvement if I can at least call it that way <coughs> so and it's basically like that and it actually works properly but as I said the last thing you have to do to make it work really like you want is to have this to actually put on the wires because I don't have this one on my cable and it actually catches some noises from the background so it uh, does so it's pretty loud when you use it but I don't actually care since I have a noise reduction effect when I play on my computer through Axtica Mixcraft and such uh, and one more thing that you have to just remember uh, when it comes to monotype of cables uh, you won't have like this uh, divided into parts but you have uh, just one signal part then some uh, then some plastic that covers the signal wire and then you have the ground warp it all around the uh, aluminium uh, that is made for uh, what was it called I just forget the word for uh, this type of action which gives you the noise reduction effect but the mechanical one uh, anyway uh, so you just have to undo your cable with uh, a knife and then put the signal part just right here and then the ground has to just mm, be put the other way around so it won't touch the uh, direct the cable and it's just like that and I actually show you some demo of how it actually works <laughs>